I just got to back out for a while, love. Irene's in a bit of strife. What's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. I'll, I'll fill you in later. And Beth is angry about something. Hi, guys. Here we go. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Hey. <laughs> yeah, something about not talking properly for weeks. I didn't get it all. So you think that's it? Maybe. Mum was pretty upset. That doesn't sound too bad. It's got to be more. Kirsty's operation was a big stress. I just hear Shelley's name. Whatever it is, they can't split over it. What we need to do is remind them that they're happy together. So you're going to help me? Yeah. yeah. But I thought you didn't even like Uncle Chris. He's okay. Besides, Mum loves him, so we have to help. No sign of Tash? No. Nah. I suppose I should be grateful she can't drive. I've expected to get back from the phone box and find the flipping car gone. So what do you want to do? Thanks, uh, I don't know. I've got a damn good mind to... Leave her out here! Tash! Alf Stewart. We're going now. I'm sick to death of running around after you. Oh, good day, Kim. Uh, you what? You can come with us or you can walk. Where? And she's with you. Yeah, we got her. Is she okay? She's in the city. Uh, well, she's still pretty angry at me and Rob, and she's refusing to come home. Well, what do you want to do? There's not much we can do till she's ready to go. Just thought we'd let you know she's all right. Right, mate. Uh, thanks very much. The boys have got her in the city, but right now she doesn't feel like coming home with them, so they're just going to have to sit it out with her. God, sometimes I wonder what we have to do to prove ourselves to that girl. Don't worry, Irene. She'll come round. Hang on a minute. It... She's in the city. Who's been here? Who's got me stuff? Hey, Tash. I know you want to see your father, but I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, I told you I don't want to talk to you. No, I know, but you can't sit here all night. For one thing, we borrowed just his car and we have to get it back to him. Take it back, then. You know I don't want you here. Could you tell me what you're still doing here? Ah, uh, yeah, sorry, mate. We're just going. Speak for yourself. Fine. But we've asked you politely, and you can argue with the police. Better make it a paddy wagon. You really don't want to do this, mate. Yeah, we do. We're with her. We're a team. Guys, what are you doing? Just go, OK? You'll get in trouble. Hey, where you go? We go. Mr. Osborne isn't interested in seeing you, young lady. So go home. If I go home with you guys, will you stop following me? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Well, thanks for being home, guys. No worries. We better get going. No, it doesn't matter. Well, we think it does. We shouldn't have tried to interfere. No, none of it matters. Tash, did you meet your father? I don't have a father. It's just me. Do you ever get the feeling that we're never really going to get to know her? Yeah, well, if we do, it might be too late. This is bad. I'm going in. Hey, Uncle Rhys, I will do that. You go and help Honey Bear. Max, what uh, are you up to? What Max means is we'll do this. You yeah. guys just relax. Oh, oh. yeah, push your bed up. Right. <laughs> but you did much better. I get the feeling I could do with some reassurance. Mm. So could I. You're saying? What do I do with this? <coughs> it's not just me, is it? I mean, I'm not alone. Okay, we're always going to be here for you, Tasha. And so is Irene. If you want us. I do. You know, I don't want to run anymore. I'm sick of running. I just... I didn't want you to hate me. We are never going to hate you. 
We can tell you're not happy. We won't help you. I think I need your help. Look, I want to be better. I, I want to be a better person. And so I'm going to trust you with my money and with everything. Because like, I don't, I don't want to be like this anymore. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I want to change and I'm going to get it together. No, we're going to do everything we can to help. you gone to bed. I had a few more things to do. Well, I could have done that, Max. Especially considering you and the twins cooked dinner. It's okay. Maybe you and Uncle Ray's good eye. Just run together. You know, you've got to stop worrying. Reese and I are okay. Doesn't feel like that. Well, what can I tell you, Max? The truth. Last time we talked, you said there was nothing to worry about. But things still feel weird. Every marriage, no matter how good it is, has its ups and downs. Maybe we're not at our best right now, but we love each other. And it won't be long before we are again. That's the truth. Okay? You know, I don't think that place is me either. I mean, I still need to go there one day, but right now I need the bush and the beach. I need to get here. No lock like gates? Yeah. Just people who know me and me. They can tell me when I'm ready to knock on those gates. Like my best friend. 